Let's say you're speeding through rural Saskatchewan. The dash-mounted radar used by the RCMP patrolling the highways has been tested for accuracy at least two ways, with an internal test and with a tuning fork. But speed into Regina and you'll find city police stopped using the tuning fork years ago. It's an example of police in Canada testing the same radar equipment differently. This gentleman was going 123. Ontario Provincial Police haven't used tuning forks for a decade. Technology has changed and the manufacturer has told us that there is really no benefit to using a tuning fork. John McNall is a paralegal now, but back then he was the OPP officer who approached the manufacturer about dropping the test. He thinks tuning forks are redundant, but says he had another reason for asking. I would say they were fudging the red evidence. He believed police were often doing the tuning fork test wrong, but testifying they'd done it right. The officer would give evidence that he tested it in accordance with manufacturer's instructions and technically would be perjuring himself. Number one, number one in patrol is... Kevin Morrison teaches police how to use radar, but he used to work for the manufacturer and remembers how the company's marketing department viewed the OPP's request. If we take it out, we can make sales. That's why they did it. My reaction would be to question the, the validity of the speeding ticket. The tuning forks is the only one that tests the entire system all at once from end to end. The exact speed registered on the radar can affect the amount of a fine, license demerit points, and insurance rates. Toronto lawyer Daniel Baker says it's all opened up a huge legal loophole for tickets issued without the tuning fork test. I think every ticket in the last 10 years should be thrown out. More than one manufacturer has now dropped the requirement for the tuning forks, and yet some police forces, such as the RCMP, still insist on it. The result is that police in Canada are testing the same equipment for accuracy in different ways, potentially putting the validity of millions of tickets in doubt. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto.